What should you consider when you're structuring your business to help reduce taxes? Well, one of the first things you need to consider is what type of entity you want to be. You can be taxed as an S corporation, a C corporation, a partnership, or a sole proprietorship. The decision that you make can impact the taxes that you paid. A C corporation, for example, will pay tax on its earnings itself. So if a C corporation has income, it pays tax on that income. Whatever's left after it pays taxes, if it distributes that out as a, as a dividend, those dividends are taxed to the shareholders. So there is a double layer of tax with a C corporation. Partnerships and S corporations are what are commonly referred to as flow through entities. So a, an organization that's taxed as a partnership or an S corporation does not itself pay tax on the income that it earns, but that income is passed through to the shareholders or the partners and that income is picked up on their personal tax returns. So there's only one level of tax associated with those types of entities. So you may think, well, why would I ever choose two levels of tax? Well, there are situations where having two levels of tax may not be that significant. For example, if you're, if you're a startup company and you're not planning on doing distributions, but instead everything is going to be funneled back into the company for research and development or for growth or for whatever business reasons, the fact that you may pay tax on a dividend might not be that important to you because you may not be making dividends. The investors in your C corporation may be primarily concerned with the growth and the value of the stock, not the dividends that they may or may not receive. That is a situation where the fact that a C corporation can pay two levels of tax may not be that significant. Another consideration is what type of assets your business will hold. And this is primarily important when the company is either sold or when it is wound up and liquidated. If you're primarily a service business, you aren't going to have a lot of hard assets that might attract capital gain or ordinary income when the business is sold or when it's liquidated. If you do have a lot of hard assets, for example, real estate or, or manufacturing facilities or things like that, you are going to want to be in a structure that has the fewest levels of tax as possible. So a service business may be fine being taxed as a C corporation because when it's sold or, or wound up, there aren't a lot of hard assets that are going to attract a potential double level of tax. If you own real estate or other hard assets, an S corporation or a partnership may be a better fit because when those assets are sold or when the business is wound up, there is typically only one level of tax that is associated with that. Another consideration when structuring your business is what type of return are your investors looking for? Are they looking for cash returns or are they looking for a return based mostly on the appreciation and the value of the company? If they're looking for cash returns, an entity like a C corporation may impose an additional tax burden because as previously mentioned, the dividends are going to be taxed when they are distributed to the shareholders. In an S corporation or a partnership, when the cash comes out, that's not necessarily a taxable transaction. So that can be an important consideration when you are structuring your entity. If the investors are mostly concerned with the growth and not with receiving cash, then a C corporation can be as viable an alternative as either an S corporation or a partnership. So one consideration is what type of return your investors are looking for. Another thing to consider when structuring your business is should you adopt a retirement plan? A retirement plan is a good way to reduce taxes going forward in that the contributions that the employer, the company makes to the retirement plan are often tax deductible. And you do want to make sure that it's a qualified retirement plan like a 401k or uh, something like that um, to make sure that you are going to take maximum advantage of the deductions that are available. But a retirement plan can be not only beneficial to the employees for their savings and for their retirement, but can be a good tool to reduce taxes for the employer. So those are a few items that should be considered when you are structuring your business.